Hi everyone, The Mature Simmer here. So, while we're waiting for our server swap to get completed, which I think is still going to take the better part of two weeks or more in real time here, I didn't want to leave the channel with no information or nothing happening. So I'm going to go ahead and provide at least periodic updates as there are things to discuss and at least keep you informed of. So what I've got here is just the Shellbrook map that we're moving to, but this is just a single player that, you know, that's available to everybody. Um, so this is not what we're going to get per se in FSN, and, and what I mean by that is FSN is going to have placement of buildings and obviously a lot of the existing buildings that are here, for example, like, you know, all this stuff on the the starting farm that I'm at here and, you know, the sheds and the silos out there and all of that, you know, maybe they'll leave the, the flag or whatever. Um, you know, but all of the... And I can't change my cursor to a an arrow and move to the in game the mini map, but basically over by field thirty five in the south east where you've got all the you know blue spots and then down basically straight south by twenty nineteen twenty two again you can see there's a lot of blue uh, you know and I, I don't even know what'll be left up north at the town um so to some degree, it would be nice to know what we're getting. And so where I'm at right now is we were informed last night at about 8.30, uh, which is, uh, you know, that this is now the next morning at about 7 a.m., so, you know, about 12 hours ago, that our server was moved to FS22. Um, and we've got a new server number. So we are server 212, where we used to be server 48. Um, I assume the process will be the same that as mayor, you know, ultimately when we move in and so forth, I'll be able to pick a name. So I've got uh, an idea for that, kind of vetted it with the other FMs, not heard anybody say it's a terrible name. So likely going to go ahead and do that, but we'll save the big reveal for when we're official. Because um, who knows, maybe I'll think of something more brilliant. Unlikely, but not, not that the name's so brilliant, but it jumped there and, uh, you know, people like it. So I'm going to leave well enough alone in most cases, but I reserve the right to change my mind. But what I've been trying to do then is figure out where on this map I want to make my home. And the reality as we've talked about because of limited time to play is I'm certainly not going to be looking to um, go crazy on, on the land. Um, you know, obviously there's some huge fields like field one, field four, those are right around the 300 acre mark, which would be, you know, like 60% more space than I had on all of my fields in Seneca, in Hilly Seneca. So I'm not going to look at one any of those. I mean, in theory, the process will work as it does for any map swap is that as mayor, I'll give first pick, so that basically gives leaves the map open to me, so I could grab anything, and as mayor, I'm also exempt, in this case, from the threshold that normally FSN has of 500000 for your home plot. So this would be my one chance to do something like that, and really the plots that are over that are one in four. Everything else, for the most part, I haven't checked every single field, you know, perhaps 25 looks like it's it's up there in size. You know, it might be a little bit over 
but uh, everything else is below so it doesn't look like I'm going to take advantage of anything like that because if I did buy one and four or four I would need to leave a, a large portion of it not used each year or something to make it realistic and as it is I may be doing that on other fields as well so let me uh, jump into a vehicle so let's see because now I've got um, the map so you know I'm in my uh, you know let me let me hop here so it's a little less distracting so this is the home farm these are the harvesters I've been using um, as I've been kind of poking around and, and doing some things on single player um, you know I've got things in the field you can see uh, kind of in the mist I've got a tractor with a cedar. I was basically playing with that. And there's another one here behind the silo. You can um, see it right there is the, the back end. So I was running with course play, just testing this out because people uh, in my, my map tour were indicating they were having some difficulty in getting course play to work on the home field. So I was testing that out. And the little test I've done, everything seems to work, but... You know, again, for FSN, that doesn't really matter because we can't use course play. Um, so, I, I've driven a lot of the map. I, I re didn't get down here, but, I, you know, I got down here enough that I kind of at least got a flavor for the terrain. Um, you know, just to see what it is. So, these features on the map that are kind of grayish are actually water. So this is in essence like a, a river that runs in here and, and then, you know, has a lake. So, you know, terminates in a lake, starts in a lake. Again, I don't know what the natural flow of the water is in the real Shellbrook here. You know, and, and also here there's, you know, some little spits of land there that, that are around some water. Um, you know, everything else is, is obviously forest. Um, I'm trying to zoom in on the mini map, which I can't do. Funny me. So, looking at size of fields and so forth, um, you know, there's a possibility. I thought of, you know, hey, if I do six or seven, it, it, you know, there's likely going to be cell points up here in town. Um, you know, and then just with the size that they are, like, you know, maybe six, seven, eight become an interesting option for a farm. Similarly, like 11, 12, 39, you know, could be useful and, and doable in, in my mind. I haven't gone down, as I said, and looked at these fields, but once again, this cluster is possible. And in all those cases, we're probably talking about something similar in total holding to what I had in... Um, in Hilly Seneca. So let's go into the, you know, the PDA where we can kind of see things a little more clearly. So uh, with the update or with the add-on of additional field info, you've got to click once and then you get. So you can see this is a 72 acre field, 36, 36. You know, so basically I'm looking again at another 72. So I'm basically 144 acres here. Um, you know, between this, it's 50, 50 acres, 41, so I'm at, you know, 90, and then 35, you know, so I'm at like 125, you know, and as I said, you know, this one's 307, this one's 287, and the thing I also don't know that I've asked the question is, are these values, does FSN leave them, and is that what we're looking at, which in this case, like I said, I, I could for the mayoral exemption of allowing to go over 500,000 by these. Yeah, so this one's slightly over at 520. But then as you can see, almost everything else on the map is is below 500. So, um, you know, basically if I chose one of those three fields, um, you know, that would be it. One of the things that I was thinking about is, well, it, it would be interesting to just you know, ha have a field that is is interestingly shaped just because, um, 
you know, it'll be fun to work it. It'll be fun to move around, decide, you know, hey, do I clear things out? So again, you know, this field is intriguing from that standpoint because it's an interesting shape, that's for sure. Um, but my head is telling me, like, it's unlikely that Customs is going to be down here. I'm thinking logically, since there's a city up here, I don't think they're going to do anything significant to basically obliterate the existence of a city and in the existing world of FSN that tends to mean the custom silos are you know somewhere in this area type of thing um, so the downside for me is once again if if I'm likely having this one home plot and I may not expand any further on the map um, I'm then basically dooming myself to long runs, and again, it's a 4x map, so this you know could easily take five minutes with a truck each time, you know, and um, you know once again, if the vehicle shop is up here, you know, getting equipment to the farm, getting supplies to the farm, you, you know the drill. I mean, you've seen me play enough, um, so it's unlikely that this would be something that would make sense but once again uh, just so you can clearly see that's also over 200 acres um, which you know my total holdings I think were like 160 to 170 in Hilly Seneca and you know I really haven't had time to to work that so as I continued to look around I kept getting drawn back to for a lot of those reasons position on the upper end of the map, interesting shape to this plot here, number nine. And I am thinking, uh, unless I get a look at the FSN map and then find that placement of the FSN facilities is so vastly different than I'm expecting, I'm thinking this is what I'm going to go with. So, you know, I'm not taking advantage of the three hundred or the, the $500,000 exemption because it's only 399000 The area is basically about the same of what I own, so, um, you know, larger than I'm probably going to work. But the intriguing part to me is this almost has a natural division of like two fields. If I ignore this center section that connects them, you know, in theory I could do something down here, I could do something up here, and you know, maybe I plant one part, you know, the north part one year, the south part the next year, um, you know, obviously use this, you know, as a small third field. It gives me a lot of options in my head without having to unnaturally subdivide things because to me the, these are similar to I think um, on the Flint Hills map I think there's a giant field 21 that again is like 300 acres and usually most FM's in FSN that did that would like subdivide that into f five pieces and then in essence you know create five f fields out of it um, you know and and um, you know, certainly that can be done, but, you know, I'm never likely going to work 287 acres and so forth. And again, like, to me, this one's still rectangular. I mean, yeah, you've got this large space up here that, um, you know, if you drive it, is, is basically a bog and so forth. And I don't know if you, like, were to try to plow over it and create fields, if it would eliminate those features. I think it might. Um you know, but that turns into basically a rectangular field. Um, one here is, you know, a rectangular field with this kind of strange field down below, so it, it does at least go to the interesting shape thing a little more than four does, certainly. But then if I'm truly subdividing, it, it then becomes this, this weird conglomeration. So, not that this isn't, I mean, obviously, but but it's almost like I said, like I, I can naturally look at, you know, some dividing line here, you know, whatever works for working the field. I, you know, just hey, head straight over with the cedar and 
you know, whatever whatever point I hit here, because this doesn't look like it's quite a straight edge. It looks like, you know, maybe there's a little bit of an angle. So, you know, if I'm heading that way, there's no reason that I couldn't just, you know, continue to go down and maybe be slightly below the forest line when I hit the east edge of the field and, and go up. The other thing that's interesting, and we'll definitely take a look at this area in a moment, um, like physically on the ground, is just by the nature of where this field is, by the river and so forth, it's got some hilly terrain. So it kind of harkens back to, hey, I'm kind of on hilly Seneca. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to get some, I think, interesting views as I work the field. And then finally, because I learned my lesson on hilly Seneca of struggling for years and years because I didn't want to remove arable field of having space for the yard, for my silos, my equipment, and so forth. And this space stuck out to me as like, well, I'm going to have to clear it because it's forest, but what if I do something there? So that is what gets us to why my pickup is here, because this is kind of where I left things. So you can see I'm on that section. I'm kind of at the southern section of it, so there's you know, a good amount of forest headed up that way. But, you know, I've driven in from basically the, the point of the field. You can see it out there in the distance. You know, I think it's, it's planted with some kind of wheat or something right now. So, you know, it's, it's a good ways here to the back edge because you can then see the, the other field across the way. But let me fire up the truck and, and we'll kind of continue back here. So while it'll be some work, you know, what I'm thinking I can do is, you know, clear out kind of this center section that I'm at, and this would maybe be the southwest corner of what I clear, and, and basically give myself a nice little secluded wooded um, enclave, you know, to put my, my little home and um, you know, my little mayoral trailer, which I assume will be something similar that we'll be able to put down. Um, you know, but even if we have to do like a house, if that's what they give us as a mayor to, to put down. And then I could basically have, you know, a back entrance here because I do think this large swath of land that really isn't a road, but between the fields, that's the one thing with nine is there isn't like a clean way to get to it. So this cluster down here like this is a road but this also goes through like the farm homestead area here and I'm not sure what they're gonna do and once again if there's things up here in town um, you know it's just, it's just gonna be a little bit interesting so if we s really zoom in here you can see like from the top of field 12 there's a road here and then I can head into town um, you know, otherwise I'm basically coming down here, having to go through here, and, and again, this is the yard of the starting farm, the way the map is developed. So I'd have to come here, basically go down their driveway, then come on out, you know, one of these entrances and head up. So that's the only negative, really, is there's not like a clear way to get to this field, you know, other than, I mean, this is the only road that borders this field. But then putting a yard here, I I'm eating up part of the field where in theory I don't really need to if I just am okay with, hey, all my stuff's here. And obviously as I'm working the field, you know, my thought is, you know, put put the yard here. Maybe if I need to expand this way, um, you know, and then basically have a, a driveway th here and, you know, a drive out that way. So uh, depending on what I want to do, you know, if in some crazy universe I suddenly start wanting to expand, you know, now I've got these access to these fields pretty quickly, and I don't think I would ever, you know, use more than 11, 12, 39, and 10. I mean, that should keep anybody busy, because once again, this is 160 acres. We've already determined this is basically 150 acres. This is also about another 150 acres. So, I mean, we'd be talking about nearly 500 acres at that point. Um, 
which certainly farmers on FSN have, and the only way that would work is if I could get past the hurdle of having a group of farmhands that, that I was unable to get past in FS19's version of Hilly Seneca, but maybe with the FS22 maps there's more contractors willing to do things. But now on the mini-map, like, all these things w will be gone, you know, all these blue locations other than perhaps if there's productions hidden in here you know there will likely be you know whether they leave the animal dealer there or not and then this is what I was talking about you know here's the city I don't know how productions work on FS22 in FSN yet you know are they going to leave the shop here um, you know there's some space here that depending on if they get rid of the building like this would be an awesome place in my mind for the custom silo and so to me it's like okay if I work this field if I come up here head over the road you know drive over um, you know that that would work so that's what I'm thinking if I go that route what that's going to turn into from a work and episode standpoint is it almost necessitates um, that I'd want to get on the map near winter when I could could log um, because obviously I need to clear space before I have any place to store things I mean in theory I, I can just like leave stuff hanging out around the edges you know I, I could park stuff out here I mean this isn't a small area um, you know, but obviously my goal would be move things along. So depending on when we get on the map, things could be vastly different. I'm going to shrink this down now so we can see see things. But I'm going to go kind of drive around here. And so, you know, you'll see. I mean, you know, there is a lot of flatness here. But what I discovered as I drove around the east side here, which is where I'm going to go, I'm just trying to be nice and not drive through the field, um, is as I said, there is, it's deceptively not flat, um, just because we've got the river around and, and things drop down to there. So, you know, the river's through the trees a little bit. You can see it more clearly. So I'm trying to not drive into the crop. I drive into the crop. Um, and this is kind of the worst part here is by the forest but um, you know you can start to see even as I as I look let me zoom in here I'm, I've clearly got some terrain you know I'm I'm going up in both directions here as I go down to the corner um, you know, I've got kind of a nice little river bank here that just, you know, will give me some nice views. I didn't have any river, uh, you know, any water features near my farms on Hilly Seneca. So, you know, while there were little rivers and streams there, I wasn't near one. But, um, you know, and again, looking up there, you know, depending on how I work the field, but even if I go north-south, if I go east-west, I'm, I'm kind of going up and down. Um, so that's somewhat my my logic on this, and as you can see as we drive around now, I mean it gives you a perspective of just the size and scope of this thing. You know, we're not even to the center section yet uh, of of this field and there's one play I think this corner here is the one that's like super close to the water I'm, you almost have to, I think you have to go in the water to not drive in the field uh, maybe it's not here yet but somewhere there there was one corner that got really really close so there is a road here um, but it just goes to the field so if we look at where I'm at on the mini-map, I'm here. It, it literally just goes across, uh, and, you know, and again, I don't see any roads here. So, um, you know, if I don't own eight, and even if I do, if I was working it, I still don't have 
a clear egress anywhere. So to me this was interesting, but not incredibly useful. You know, but even again, as, as we kind of try to get down to ground level here, I mean, if I get, you know, get out of the truck, you know, you can see, I mean, we're, we're going up a little bit there. There's a little bit of a rise to the tree line. Um, you know, it's, it just was a pleasant surprise to me to find something like this on the map that is, uh, not entirely flat. And so this is the spot here, the little finger that goes back and then so straight back there would be where my yard would be. Um, so again, as you can see, I mean, it's tree covered. It's gonna require some work to hew out of there, but it would certainly give an interesting storyline, I guess, too. You know, the, mist, the story of Misty Hills. You know, we've moved up here to Canada. We've left Ohio. Uh, we've decided not just to change states. We've changed countries. And, um, you know, here we are. Now, again, this looks like, oh, the field's done. But if we go to the map, um, well, actually, the field is done. So we just go in there. So I'll, I'll head down that way. Because um, I was going to say, I think this is a piece that just reaches into the map but that's something else so yeah so this would be kind of the southern border of the field so not you know incredibly far away from where the farmyard would be and again maybe I also have an entrance straight south to go there but I don't know that that's necessary you know and we've got kind of that boggy water feature in the center and then um you know, some other, some other items in, uh, you know, just bushes and so forth. So, you know, that might be one, because it doesn't look like there's anything in there. You know, I'll take a look at it, you know, and maybe that's one we plow over. Um, you know, this would require some clearing, but, you know, why not leave it? Just give ourselves something interesting. And so to me, once again, there's the view of, hey, I've got this piece, I've got this piece, it's almost two equal fields. Um, you know, I'm guessing this is honestly a little bit larger, but it may not be because it's, it, yes, while it's wide here, um, you know, there's this thin piece that is certainly longer than this thin piece, and this is wider up here, so that's my logic. Um, you know, I've, I've certainly obviously spent quite a while just chatting about this, but just wanted to get back with you, let you know what I'm thinking, and, um, you know, obviously I'll be back on as I learn some more, and I've not driven down here, so here we go, but, you know, once again, I'm, I'm, I'm down at the end of the field here. So yeah, so this road I, I was aware of, because I'm like, oh, there's this road I don't know, but no, it, it takes me to the same place. So, you know, we'll, we'll take a peek here just so you can kind of understand what, what I'm talking about. And there's an auto drive network here, um, as you can see, that I got on the single player that, again, we won't have accessible to us. And, you know, but then I'm basically, to get to the road, I'm, I'm driving through this space. And unless FSN significantly redid this, which they may have, but, um, you know, my guess is that the road network is just kind of left. Um, you know, and it won't be per, say, a yard. I mean, you know, I, I don't know how they're going to subdivide that out. Maybe they'll just make it into a park plaza or something. You know, this is a way to get to the road as well and then head north uh, to the likely spots that we'd need to. You know, but even these fields, as you can see, I mean, there's still some roll to the terrain. This is, again, a map that uses actual DEM data, which is uh, digital elevation mapping data. So this is the actual terrain of Shellbrook Creek, Saskatchewan. Uh, and, you know, so it, so it is kind of what it is, but, there, you know, there's a little bit of roll, and some of that roll that we're looking at, as you can see, the river's coming into view. That's why. And so, 
you know, this is field 13. So again, it's a little a bit of an optical illusion. This is not the field that I would have at this point. Um, you know, I basically need to drive along this spit of land along the river to get back to field 9. But this kind of gives you a view, you know, of, of where we're at. And then there's the river here, but that's our field kind of, if I'm looking northwest up the river, that's field 9. So that would be where we'd be at. And then, you know, again, how much of this remains... Um, you know, I'm sure the silo, the repair shop, you know, might be gone. And then this is field 8 over here on the uh, edge of the road. And once again, beyond that tree line is the river. And then on the other side of the river is field 9, which might be our home. And so this is kind of the access to field 8. But, you know, without driving through the field and destroying things there's not a clean way to get there so um, you know it's it's a little out of the way just like any piece of land in real life um, you know it's it's got its pros and cons but of everything I've seen and especially just because of the rolling nature and you can see like this field you know goes up and and so forth and there's no you know river that I'm aware of on the other side of that you know and this is field one um, so there's, you know, terrain there too, but size-wise, this one fits a lot better than this one does. So, hope that gives you some idea of what I'm thinking. And, uh, you know, I'll keep you informed of what's going on. But welcome to the uh, first official FS22 FSN video that we have on the channel. And it will be so labeled. And uh, hopefully we get a little bit more of an expanded audience because I think we've not had folks looking at this series because it's labeled in YouTube land as FS19. And so those who are looking for FS22 content are not getting any from the FSN side from me right now. But that all changes today. So we'll see uh, how our move-in goes and we'll go from there. I'll see you next time.